Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Whatever posture you choose, allow yourself to get comfortable. Make whatever adjustments you need to, to be comfortable in your body. And allow yourself to really enjoy that comfort. Notice if there's any tension present in your body at this time. Anywhere where your muscles are holding tension or tightness. Gently invite any tightness or tension that you find to relax. Relax your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple, easy smile. Doesn't have to be huge. Just smiling. Allowing your body to incline your mind towards happiness. Comfortable, relaxed, and smiling. And without losing these qualities in the body, begin to involve the mind. Consider things in your life that you're grateful for and tell yourself about them in your mind, in inner talk space. Tell yourself about your gratitude. I feel grateful that I had food to eat today. I feel grateful for the friends in my life. Feel grateful that I got to go outside. Whatever it is that you're grateful for, tell yourself about it. Be sure that you can hear it in your mind's ear. You're actually saying the sentence to yourself. And allow yourself to take that gratitude in.
whatever extent you notice feelings of gratitude arising in your emotional body. As you consider and reflect on gratitude, notice and really enjoy those feelings. Soak them up, delighting in them. Very good. Now, bring to mind your easy-to-love person or animal, whoever that is for you. And begin to cultivate love for them. Perhaps using phrases or visualizations or directly accessing a felt sense of love. You get to decide which method to use. Simply cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal. Again, to whatever extent you can feel this love in your body, that the act of cultivating metta impacts you emotionally. Notice that and really take it in. Be impacted by it. Enjoy the love. Continue to cultivate love in whatever method you've chosen for your easy to love person or animal for another moment.
In a moment, we'll transition to our main technique. But you can allow this love to grow. Maintaining it and letting it increase, even as we change our technique. And this practice will be alternating between cultivating love for specific people and cultivating love for all beings using our connection to specific beings that we love and care about to develop a felt sense of love for all beings. Using the love that you've cultivated for your easy to love person or animal. Tell yourself in your mind the phrase, may all beings be happy. feeling or connecting to the same love, but associating it with a different phrase, a different scope, loving all beings. May all beings be happy. Without setting aside any felt sense of love that's arisen in the emotional body, allow yourself to shift the focus to another specific being that you love and care about. Cultivate love for a specific person in a way that works for you. Again, maybe phrases or visualizations or a felt sense of love. Focus your love on someone else that's specific. Again, allow yourself to notice and enjoy whatever love you cultivate for the specific person. Really soaking it up. Delighting in it. And as you're ready, you can switch back to directing this love towards all beings, perhaps by using a phrase like, may all beings be happy, or I love all life, or some other way. But allow this love that you've 
cultivated for a specific person to radiate out towards all beings. You can go back and forth between directing love towards all beings and a specific person at whatever pace you like. And you can stay with the same person or move through many different people. The basic idea is to connect specific feelings of love for specific people to love for all beings in whatever way feels good for you moving back and forth between the specific and the general. Perhaps you'll find that a fast rhythm works for you. Moving back and forth between specific beings and all beings at a relatively quick pace. Or perhaps you like to move slow, taking your time, luxuriating in love. You know yourself best. In any case, cultivate love for specific beings and also for all beings.
Notice that when you extend love to all beings, it includes the specific beings that you love, that you've cultivated love for. But that same love extends to everyone else as well. We don't lose the love that we have for specific beings. It simply grows to include more people, more love. Allow them to blur together and to grow.
And again, to whatever extent you can feel this love for all beings, that you can connect to that in your body. Really soak that in. Be nourished by it. Knowing that this is an extremely wholesome form of love. To have loving kindness for all beings. Delight in that. Very good. Now, as the practice period comes to a close, consider some way that you might bring this love into the world, that you might take these feelings of loving kindness and act on them. Make some kind of plan for a kind action you could take and set the strong intention to do it in the near future. Something feasible, something delightful will be a gift to the world. Set the strong intention to take this action, this loving, kind action. And intend also to enjoy it as you do it. To notice the positive effects that it has for you and your loved ones and the world. To really enjoy that as well. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 